So we are back, and our our runners have survived their meat. Um, <laughs> some of them that is more literal than others, given as they had live octopus fed to them. But hey, when in Rome, right? Um, it's approximately nine nine thirty or so by the end of the night. On your way out of the restaurant, the uh, the host, the the old man who gave you such a grief at the door, politely ignores your existence. You guys are able to recollect your things and head out back into the, the Seattle evening. Um, it's up to you guys on whatever you want to do now. So I guess as we're walking back to our cars, we're, we're trying to hash out, like, or we want to plan this out. And for someone to actually slot the damn data chip. Yeah, I want to do a <laughs> matrix perception on it, make sure it's not booby-trapped or anything. <laughs> oh, it had black eyes. Surprise, it is not booby-trapped. All right, I'll go ahead and slot it. All right, there is a couple of things on there, um, including a com code number for uh, when you have the package. There is an address, which... Uh, are you a Seattle native, or...? Yes. Okay. Uh, it is in Tacoma, and it is near the docks. The, the exact address is on there, but you know, like at the warehouse district or something. Yeah, like, right by the, like yeah. not on the waterfront, but in the the warehouses nearby. Um, okay. There isn't much more on there as far as information goes, with the exception of like, remember, you are hired simply to retrieve. But uh, it gave us the location of where the package is kept, right? Yes. Good. Okay. All right. It failed me before, but I'm going to do a matrix search um, on the location. See if there's anything interesting about it. It shows up in public records. Why did uh, that go? There you go. That's, that's a bunch of hits. Um, so its public records are suspiciously bland. Hmm. Um, you do know that the Tacoma docks are one of those kind of neutral ground areas between the various uh, the criminal syndicates and stuff because it's one of those things they all know they're all doing illegal stuff there and if somebody does something that brings heat to, to themselves or to somebody else it's bringing heat on all of them so it's very much like a don't start none, there won't be none but if you do start some it's going to be like a, a dog pile because you're hurting everybody's business there. Okay. So the idea that the uh, the public facing details about this particular warehouse are suspiciously bland. So, um, again, after you seeing you do that, it's like uh, we should probably plan this out in a more discreet location. Y'all so your place then? We can head to my place, yeah. Unless someone has a better. You said something idea. about a bar. Yeah, my old, uh, an old friend of mine, runs a bar. He's, he's discreet enough. Uh, <laughs> I got a, I got a crazy idea. Um, so that Father McClellan, the one that runs uh, Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow Orphanage. Um, they've got, uh, attached to the church, they've got a room that they use for, like, AA meetings and stuff like that. I might be able to see if he let us use the room. Not going to be monitored out of the way by it. Question. Um, is this church, is that in, like, a low area? Uh, probably. I just want to say that is a good, there's, like, a, I'll just say right now, that's probably, like, the church cross goes to. And he's just kind of looking at you right now. He's like, <laughs> uh, I suppose the father wouldn't mind us using something like that at this time of night, but... So the bar it is then? Yeah, let's go to the bar. I'd, I'd rather not bring this sort of business yeah, I can go to the for house drinks. of God. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, like, as we're walking back, like we probably walk past as uh, Splatter gets into his car... I just give him a look, a really long look. I just shake my head as I walk, walk past. 
Probably muttering something like lucky bastard. That jealousy. <laughs> so close. But, uh, yeah, I mean, is it is it cool if uh, my old fixer owns a bar? Because sure. he's Irish. Okay, yeah. That's so racist. I love it. I know. Um, it's the uh, it's the stereotype. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I I, you know, pull I get everyone in the van. That unless the the one guy who did take public transport wants to take a bus to the bar. No, I'll ride with you. And on the way, I'm gonna crack open your rating six med kit and reorganize it for efficiency. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> He's touching your stuff. <laughs> I mean, I bought it. So I mean, this. I, I probably know this guy has his medical training. Maybe somebody got like nicked on the first run, and he was like, "I'll take care of it." Um. So fuck it. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> if he started fucking with the van, I would say something. No, I have a running commentary. I'm like, you know, gunshot wounds are going to be probably most likely. You really need to have the anticoagulants located up here. And so I'm like mumbling to myself as I'm fixing your back. I just slowly turn the radio up. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on my headphones and start playing music. But, uh, yeah, he's I... debating whether or not he should make the van pink. <laughs> it would yeah, seem that it would be pretty obvious. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd probably, I'd probably ask you not to do that, but I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna know about that. Um. Now I gotta go look up a, a, a bar name as we're driving. I mean, we're uh, driving to where? Uh, like, I assume you have the map open. Me. Yeah, I'm following oh. you right behind you. I uh, like I don't know obviously a place, but it's like uh, this would probably be like on the edge of where, like if you know if the Irish mafia had any presence in the city, be on the edge of their territory probably. O'Malley's Pub. Uh. Well, it would have to be O'Casey's Pub. O'Casey's Pub. That's that 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 sounds that, about right. That was what <laughs> I was thinking about doing. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at this. there is there is actually a Casey's Bar. Well, I mean, there sure. you go. It's uh, it's not super important, so yeah, we can come I mean, up with it later. Just, but you guys, I was just looking this... at the map. You guys Sorry, are go in, ahead. Uh, in this bar. So, be shadow runners, be criminals. Yeah, I probably am like. Uh, right. I probably got a like. Google Maps this thing. A booth I normally take for my jobs. So I just kind of nod at uh, Liam as I go in. Maybe order order around to my usual stuff for him to bring over later. Sure, and he's more than happy to to service a consistent patron yeah i mean i probably saw him that day so <laughs> not like hey been a while how you doing no nothing like that but i i, I lean him over to like a corner kind of out of the way sit down probably a menu but like not a not a nice one or anything so if you want anything yeah, just probably digital yeah something like that um yeah sit down it's like where do you guys want to start <laughs> Um, we need to know what this place looks like. What we're probably facing. Who's me, guarding it? Let me check if there are any silent icons running anywhere around us. Not that I would think that this thing place would be bugged, but just in case. Uh, there are totally tons of running silent icons all around you. There's a lot of guns. There's a lot of uh, all kinds of other stuff. Comlinks. Various pieces of illegal cyberware. Any um, listening devices, boom mics, things like that, or directional mics? Um, probably. Just because it's one of those things of, like, there's all kinds of other illegal stuff going on. At least that's the idea that I've gotten from uh, this place. It's, it's a fixer bar. I mean, he's got other teams of Shadowrunners uh, that he works with, so... Shit, there might be some works. in there. I mean, if it's a runner bar, then they probably have most. They probably would not have stuff running silently. I was getting the more low life criminal vibe, so you probably oh, yeah. find none of that stuff then, because runners aren't gonna have that stuff on wireless. Yeah, the the owner's a fixer, so it was my old fixer. Got you. There might be some mafia guys, but you know, 
it's more of a you know again don't start none don't get none gotcha bit of a yeah neutral ground well that being the case do i detect any any running silent listening device typey things nope just a bunch of the running silent comlinks So I pull up the details and send them to everybody off the uh, chip. They probably like pop up in like AR. So yeah. uh, the chip doesn't say anything extra about like uh, the item apart from its weight it's, and size, right? Yep, its dimensions. No, um, first problem seen off the uh, off the bat. How are we gonna actually? You know, if it's like 500 pounds, how are we going to carry this out? I got a winch in the van, but that involves me driving in. Does it fit in the van? Wait, how heavy was it again? About 500, 500 pounds. pounds. Well, how are we going to carry it? To the van? Question. Wow. Dolly? Good work. And you got a dolly? No, if it's a warehouse, though, they might have that stuff. Because assume... Yeah, they might have, like, lifts and jacks there. At some point. Hmm? No, I'm just saying they might have lifts and jacks already there. Yeah. Forklift. Forklift would be ideal, but we can't necessarily count on it being there. Um, exactly. We might need to have, like, a block and tackle backup plan or something. I figure between us, we could... uh. Probably carry it a little bit. So if we clear it out, if there's no one there, which I doubt it'll ever be that easy, but I can just back into the warehouse. We load it up in the back of the van. We go. Yeah, we can assume that we're going to have to get your van into the warehouse. Like, we're not going to be able to get the package out. We're going to have to take a vehicle to it. All right. Maybe not it. your van. Maybe we should take another van, like a cargo truck. Maybe steal a truck. Want to rent a U-Haul? Could do that, too. U-Haul might look weird down there, but like if we could get if we swiped some kind of panel truck, we can make the U-Haul look like anything you want it to look like. Um, One thing about U-Haul is that then we're going to have to use um, there'll be a, some kind of rental record, which won't be a big deal unless we get stopped or we get forced to abandon the vehicle. If we steal a vehicle, we don't have to worry about those things. Although we do have to worry about the fact that we stole a vehicle, and maybe that brings me. Also, what if the vehicle gets shot at? If it's a rental vehicle, you're gonna like. I mean, depending on what we look like, when we go in there. They might not raise that much of an eyebrow. How facey is our face? Do you think you can go in if we got you dressed up properly and got you an ID? Go into one of the other warehouses and pretend to be a driver and drive out one of their trucks. Um, am I the face? I think you've been the voted face. face. I think we're talking about the clown um, here. Oh, me? Um, I'm not too facey. I can try to, but I wouldn't bet on it. I can make someone else, I think, look a little bit better, but that'll be just about it. All right, so so we can't bullshit. We can't bullshit ourselves some wheels, so it'll be either rent or steal. All right, but... um. Mm. Right, wouldn't be that too bad. I'm, I assume we all got the kind of credentials that would uh, would be fine with that kind of sort of thing. You know, implying fake sins there. Um. Now, uh, can uh, look at handles. Can you bring up a map for me, real quick? Sure. Boop. And it just flicks over. Get it on my AR vision. So basically. I'm looking around for A, if we need to drive away really quick, and B, like uh, how dense the warehouses are, and I don't know, maybe like a parking lot or something. Like I can I can put the van in because now we could thought, find out like response time of like how we have like how have leads monitored by like cops and stuff. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it that much or that quick because of how you know 
how much criminal activity goes on. Or it could be that quick because of that. Um, kind of looking at this, though, it's like, well, we could, uh, I mean, we could even head over tonight, park a couple blocks away. I got a couple, uh, oh, just a couple eyes on the there. wall. Just drive through there? A quick yeah, that drive could work, through. Yeah, we'll definitely I, need some recon to see, uh, how well the area is defended, what kind of coverage they have, um... We might be able to steal a truck there. I mean, we might be able to go in, load the box on one of their trucks and drive it out. But then they will probably know, unless we drove it out and then drove the truck back, they would probably know quickly that we had stolen stuff when the truck went missing. Yeah, um, I wouldn't wouldn't really trust actually stealing one of their things. Probably tagged. That and uh, it's going to be obvious. Speaking of tag, does anyone have a tag eraser in case whatever we're picking up has a tag on it? We I do. Prob- okay. Yeah. I got a... Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. I also got a, uh, what's it called, a bug scanner. Check for that. Um, but I do have a couple uh, fly spies. Put them out while we're driving by. I can take a look around. If you can get me a couple good shots of... What the logistics uh, trucks look like, what you know, what their corporation, what it, the van look, or what the trucks around there looks like, that would be helpful. Yeah, not no problem. Probably and I want to get, van. I want to get close enough to watch some people go in and out, maybe get some marks on the devices and see what kind of um, inventory system they use so maybe we can fake an inventory request we could go in there and just look like they're legitimate people wearing the right stuff and just load the thing and leave and they don't even know we stole it do it during bright sunshine if we have enough or the right documentation i can make us look like who we need to look like need a little bit more information before we start going down that line too far though yeah so um rob Let's just do a yep. recon run then. From uh, from looking at the map, do I see like a way that could like maybe take me around the docks, close enough that I can put a fly like a fly spy or two out for some recon? Yeah, the uh, okay. the docks being docks and major places of import and export have many roads and connections to okay. many highways. Just making sure. Um, now, this is me being forgetful. Do we have anyone of the more per- discreet persuasion, or is it just going to be my fly spies? I can sneak if you want. Yeah, same I here. have a few and sneak. Well, if it comes down to it, it might not be a bad idea to get some, you know, other eyes looking at it. Uh, so again, do we want to do this tonight? Take a quick drive through? Or do we want to wait for daylight? No, probably when it's dark, if we're not, like, blending in clothes-wise. Night would probably work better. Well, the thing about daylight, though, is uh, if I'm just doing a drive around to pull the put the fly spies out, uh, traffic's going to be going through. I won't look too out of place in a, what amounts to a delivery van. We probably need to know both. We probably need to know what the place is like at night and what it's like during the day so we can get some sense of when is best to go. Yeah, and pick our options, exactly. Yeah. So I say we go check it out tonight and then see what's up, what's what, and then maybe go check it out again tomorrow in the morning. All right, then. If we're all agreed, let's uh, want to head out now. We won't wait for a little bit. Mm, no time left to present. Mm-hmm. So everybody's piling the party van? Yeah. As I go by the bar, I probably like take a quick shot. Liam already had there for me. Uh, he he knows he knows my little thing. Sure. Go and head to the van, yeah. So as you guys drive by, um, you can easily roll down your window and launch some fly spies. Yep. Uh, you want to go ahead and give me just like a uh, a perception roll from them and maybe a stealth roll from them. Okay. Let me make sure I got everything right for those. Where did it go? There it is. Yep. Uh, 
So that will be for stealth. That would be. I have the uh, auto soft, <clears throat> the auto soft for stealth. Um, so it'd be, what would it, six plus their sense? No, not sense rating. Uh, their pilot rating. Oh, okay. Uh, let me check that. I apologize. Uh, okay, so stealth would be six plus three. Oh. Well, 96. Still uh, just 5? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna edge that, honestly. Sure. Yeah. Uh, put one edge. So I got 4 edge. And uh, that lets me reroll all the ones that didn't succeed, correct? Correct. Right. Yeah, much better. Okay, that is the stealth roll. And... Uh, what's it called? Uh, perception would be sensor uh, yeah, pilot plus clear sight. Okay. Uh, so again, same role. Right, three successes. All right. With three hits, you will notice that there is a lot of um, like floodlights kind of going on. And this place is still a fairly busy uh, operation, I guess is the word we'll use. There's all kinds of people that are still moving things around and kind of going about. It's not exactly, like, super crazy, as though you would expect it in the daytime, but there are an okay amount of people still here doing things. You do see some forklifts of people taking pallets into this place, taking it onto this boat doing doing things with it um what uh what kind of questions would you like to ask of me okay um if you guys got any just go ahead chime in um the trucks are around yeah the trucks and uh yeah if there's any like obvious people just meandering around or, like moving in a certain pattern like how guards patrolling and whatnot um you're easily able to get... There's a couple of different trucks here from different types, so you can get a, a look at one of those, a couple of those, actually, and just kind of um, have pictures that you can do stuff with. Yeah. The general... Th there isn't any, like a real pattern to things. It's a organized chaos. Okay. Like, this, this pallet's got to go over to that warehouse, and then this one's got to go over to that ship, and then it's just kind of like... Um, it makes sense if you're the kind of person that does this kind of work, but uh, okay. if you're not, you're kind of like, what's going on? And um, is there anything specific coming? Like, what's coming out of the? If there's, is there anything coming out of the warehouse that we know where the package is? Uh, boxes. Just boxes. It seems a bit. Uh, lower activity than the other ones, but um, um, how difficult would it be? Do I think it would be to try to get one of the fly spies in? Uh, I would definitely require a piloting test of some kind, and you don't know what's going on inside the uh, yeah the building. So you could get it in there, like following behind one of the the forklifts or yeah. something, but um. Now, I'm going to make this perception. Sure. Oy. Looking for cameras and security devices. Yep, there are there are many of those. Can I if, can I kind of map them out uh, for him? Yes and no. You can give him kind of a count, but you require actual like. Um, marks on a thing and to trace icon to get its exact physical location gotcha are they are the devices are all the devices slave to the same icon or are they running independent many of them seem to be slave to a number of different things like so okay. this there'll be like five camera the five cameras listing devices that kind of thing and they are all seem to be slave to the same thing 
Um, and there will be another batch that are slave to a different thing, and so on and so forth. Okay. No, um, I, this is probably silly, but there's not any obvious windows on the warehouse, correct? No. Like in up high. Okay, just making sure. Um, what do you guys think? Because I'd only be rolling a uh, a die to put a pilot <clears throat> in behind somebody. No. Okay. Would Fenway be able to actually perceive anything from the highway towards the warehouse, or? Yeah, you could totally roll a sensing. And um, could you go through your astral body? Could even see if there's any spirits around. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't. We would have to, I think, park for that. I could probably find us somewhere to park a little bit out of the way, maybe. Yeah, an astral recon would be very useful. Uh, slash or assessing, right? Yep. Let me just make sure there's no barriers first. So with three hits, you don't see any uh, any outward facing barriers. You do notice that there's a couple of watcher spirits, and there's a couple of spirits hanging out over by the uh, the boats and stuff. Uh, yeah, I would say they have some astral overwatch, some uh, spirits on guard, so I wouldn't be able to sneak in. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so uh, what do we want to do from here, guys? So I have some things I can try, but there's a risk-reward on them. Um, if I can get close, or ideally if I can find something outside that's slaved uh, to a host that maybe runs the inventory system, I can try to track down and find out where in the warehouse the item is. Maybe also forge a work order to move it to somewhere that's easy for us to get, or that says, hey, we're going to come pick it up, or to delete it from the system. These are all things that, that I could do as a part of the run or that I could try to do early. But if I get caught, I'll be putting them on alert. I've got to get physically close to the building. So there might be some issues there. I mean, these are things that we may want to do on the run or in recon. I'm just throwing them out there as possibilities. Um, <clears throat> how close are we talking here? 100 meters. How long would you need to be that close? It uh, depends. If we if we could find something, if, if the cameras are slate, if we get close, I can start doing some more accurate recon. And if we can find a device that's outside that I can physically plug into, this becomes cake. But if we can't, then I just need to stay relatively close to it. It won't take a lot of time to either succeed or fail in the real world. Um, mm. I don't know if... I mean, if we, wait till the run, if we wait till the run, we go inside, I plug into something physical, it becomes more or less trivial, and we're already physically in the premises. So if we alert them, we alert them. That's what it is. If I do it now, it gives us more options for the snatch, but we may alert them too early and may make the snatch a lot harder, is what it boils down to. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the question is also, if we don't do it on the run, do we do it tonight, or we do it tomorrow when we're also checking in how it looks at, during the daytime? Um, cause how many vehicles did I see like going around other than like forklifts and whatnot? Um, uh, at least a good half dozen. So, but this is over like man, the entire docks, not just like your, yeah, your target. So the van might look a little bit out of place. Um, so it'd be need to be quick. What about well, uniforms I, at the target? Do everybody there seem to be wearing the same color overalls or something? The people within the same, going in and out of the same buildings did, but um, not as a general for the docks thing. It seems like each little warehouse has its own little workforce. Okay. Um, so what do we want to do, guys? Did we get any name off, name tag or something off those uh, overalls that they're wearing? Yeah, let me uh, let me open up my random name generator, and I will uh, I'll get you the name of this this place. Cause I could maybe like pull if he can find something like a bit out of the way, I could maybe pull around and let him jack in, or we can wait till tomorrow. Maybe uh, 
where it's a little more busy, you know, white van's not going to stick out. You know, it's just a stock standard delivery van, maybe. Uh, you know, or we could just fashion it to look like one of the Yeah, that, I mean, that, that could work, too. There. And we totally have pictures of those. And I probably have paint back at my shop. Because it seems like I mean, a You don't even I'm... have to paint it, right? I, I think our mage can just fashion it. Yeah, I can make work. the vehicle look something that's roughly the same size, so... Same with, like, our uniforms. You could probably, like... I mean, I already got a pair of overalls, so... Well, if we know what corp is doing the overalls, I can see if I can procure the right uniform. It'll save me from trying to keep up uh, multiple appearances. So I can keep the van going, but... You know, I can only do so many things at once. Well, maybe maybe during the day, uh, have the van, and if they're like if they're wearing like blue coveralls, I got a pair, and no one's gonna no one's gonna look at a twice at a van where you know being driven by a guy with blue coveralls. At least I would hope so. Uh, uh, Rob is getting us the name of the company anyway, so we can just yeah, I'm, I know I'm just uh, spitballing. We... So. I think this is enough. Other, uh, you think this is enough? For the night at least? Yeah. Okay. Come, come, like, because the other way is like one of us trying to like physically sneak in. Out Which of, again has... Uh, out of character, I'm just wondering if I physically mask the vehicle to look like the right vehicle to be in there. Would the Watcher spirits know that? Or notice that? The, uh, so one of the things you know as being a mage is people who are awakened show up, like, people show up as being alive. A awakened person shows up as being very bright in, consi- in comparison. Like, very obviously awakened. Same thing with spells. So a bunch of trucks driving around are going to look like moving gray blobs. A truck with a spell on it is going to look like a moving gray blob with a splosh of color on it. Mm. So if I do make the vehicle look different, the watcher spirits there will notice it, so we probably don't want to do that or use too much magic without alerting those spirits. So, um... <clears throat> what, uh, what do the coveralls look like? Just stock standard ones? Yeah. Different okay. colors, different logos on them, but... Easily, but I probably uh, I probably saw one that was blue, right? I mean, you could easily go to like the working gear near you and grab just like a. Okay. So my thought process is tomorrow might be wearing one of those, make it look a little better. Okay. Uh, so yeah, do you think we're good for tonight, guys? We meet up tomorrow. Uh, we give it another shot. Maybe see if I can get us closer for uh, handles to maybe get in. Not even get in, right? He just needs somewhere to, like, jack into. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. Get into the system. My bad. So here's the question, right? What's the what's going to be the plan of exfiltration, right? Um, are we going to try to make it so that we look like an authorized truck that works for the company that just came to pick up this specific package? If that's the case, then we probably need to get the work order in early so they're expecting us to show up rather than try to forge one when we're already on the premises. Okay, well, yeah, but if uh, if we come back tomorrow, early in the morning, when things are just starting to get going and starting to get busy, maybe a little bit before noon, uh, you know, then you can get, if you get in, you can do that. Okay. Because uh, doing it tonight, a half dozen vans in such a big area as a dock, I don't know, people might come and look. Question. Mm-hmm. Um, is OSHA still a thing? Sort of. It's it's amazing what extraterritoriality will do for you. Mm-hmm. So. There's probably a port authority or something like that, though. If you're wondering if they would be inspected. Or if there would be reasons for people that don't work there to be there. Is that what you're wondering? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm sure we could cook up some kind of 
scenario for that, but that would be out of the ordinary and it might raise suspicion or at least they might remember it for later when something goes missing. That and they would notice okay. if those OSHA guys are leaving with a big box. Oh. Yeah, if we if we make it look like a legit transfer, then they won't even notice. And as long as we make the inventory go away and the logs, then eventually whoever really owned it, who wanted it, will go, where the hell was it? But the system won't be tracking it anymore and it won't be obvious. All right, well, let's, let's, let's call that plan A then. Sound good, everybody? Also, you could look up into this Waymo Transportation Inc. Yeah, good idea. And get like, you see if you can get like uniforms for that so that... Right. Well, that's what you'll want to be dressed up as, right? Right, Rob? That's, uh, that's the one dealing with our warehouse? Yeah, they're the ones dealing with your warehouse. All right. So, yeah. Enway's going to be taking down that right. information for later, okay. writing it down, making note of it with the picture's name and all that. And uh, I guess he's going to shoot a text to everyone wanting to know what size uniform. <laughs> <laughs> so is everybody going in like like how are we gonna do this right because assuming that if we're supposed to be looking like a delivery truck and we're coming to pick stuff up then they would expect to see a delivery truck if we open up the back of the van and they see a bunch of like drone mounts and rumble well, seats and so let me let me basically fill you in what's in the back of the van um there's usually a tool tool shop but i took that out uh just on account of making sure everyone could fit um there's nothing like obvious that looks like i've got a winch i've got and just miscellaneous supplies in the pack i don't have anything obvious like i don't have specific drone mounts it just looks like stock standard van so if this was a legit thing right i'm guessing that they would expect one driver to show up with a truck and then the people who worked at the warehouse would actually do the loading to move the pallet into the truck, and then the driver would drive away. So okay. if we go under the uh, under the assumption that that's what they would be expecting, then we would probably need to actually exfiltrate with just one person in a van that looked really clean and wouldn't raise suspicion. But the rest of us would have to be very close by in case anything went wrong to bust in and do it the hard way. Yeah, I agree with you on uh, on one point, but I think we could swing another person. Cause, uh, I think we can swing more than one person, right? Why can't we just be the ones to picking it up? Because we can be like, you guys you know, this truck? Is a very important, very important package, it's handled true. with care and everything. Requires and basically, it's like, uh, well, you know, we just making sure in case, like, you know, there wasn't enough guys to load it on the premises. Exactly. So so is have... there um, like a secured cargo transportation type uh, business, or it's escorted? Well, there might be, but again, just like with the Port Authority people, that's going to be weird and out of the ordinary. Yeah. I, I, I think I, I think that maybe they would buy if we sent our own labor to pick up the boxes. It's not that heavy. Yeah. But I think anything more than three people would be very suspicious. So, yeah, so yeah. we can have uh, cross driving. Me and uh, Rico? Because we're probably muscle, so if anything goes down. I, I don't know. know. As and as, would be running Matrix as it is. Yeah, as and, as a uh, as a rigger, this is is painful to say. But uh, how would you be okay if someone used your car splatter just to be on be on site? Maybe Fenway's in the driver's seat and handles is in this passenger, you know, jacked in somewhere. Yeah, they're I mean, close enough. Fenway providing Overwatch while as long as that vehicle happens. comes back in one piece, I have no problems. I totally get you, man. Better man than me. I wouldn't let anyone touch my baby. Yeah, mine's not exactly a baby. <laughs> Probably not best for me to be driving, though, but uh, I can play the part well, just sitting yeah. there. And then if you need to get away, as long as you're not made, just hit with the gridlock. Head back to wherever we're going. All right, so I think we're done here for the night. Let's uh, roll back. I'm, did you Did you ride with us in the van splatter? No, yeah, yes, I do. Okay, and then I'll I'll go drop you off by your car, and then basically give drive everyone home, get my fly my, you know, fly spies back. 
Sure. What time would it be uh, by when we get dropped off? That's up to you guys. Uh, probably. So we left at nine, eight and nine to go to the dock. It's probably like almost midnight, like eleven thirty-ish, maybe, depending how long it is a drive to the docks and then back. Not terribly. So like ten to eleven, maybe. Why? Does that matter? I was just wondering if I can, if I should call my contacts, but I'm gonna wait until morning. Okay. I don't think I got anyone useful in this situation. Sorry. So everybody gets to go to bed and enjoy a peaceful night's sleep, and may refresh a, a singular point of edge if they have spent it. Hooray! Hey. Uh, dawn comes with rosy fingers the next day. What time are you guys getting started? Actually, dawn coming is a good time for us to take another quick break so that we can uh, refresh drinks and stuff. So, let's take five.